Well, tomorrow people will gather in Seattle for a celebration of the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dozens of groups come together to organize this annual event. Joining me now is Eddie Ryan Jr., co-founder of the Martin Luther King Celebration Committee. I want to thank you for coming in on a weekend and thank you very much talking about, about this. So let's talk about the history of this celebration. What can you tell us? Uh, the first march was held January 15th, 1983, and it was a protest because uh, that uh, August uh, uh, of 82, uh, the city of Seattle City Council and the mayor Charles Royer had signed designating Empire Way uh, as Martin Luther King Jr. Way. Uh, after, shortly after they signed that, a group of people filed a lawsuit and it ended up going through courts and it ended up in, in Washington State Supreme Court. And in uh, uh, November 2nd, 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed the King Holiday Bill. And on November 30th, 1983, the Washington State Supreme Court ruled the city had the authority to change the name of Empire Way to Martin Luther King Jr. Way. Got a little history here. Yes, indeed. Let's walk through tomorrow's uh, celebration. What it, I don't know how you are characterizing it, but what's going to take place for people who are either uh, who, who might want to come down? Uh, quite a few things. We've in, uh, instituted a career and opportunity day that starts at 830. There will be over 42 agencies, the Washington State Department of Transportation, the Seattle Fire Department, the Seattle Police Department, uh, various other agencies, including employers who will be hiring on the spot. In addition to that, the Seattle Urban League and Neighborhood House will host a resume bank because right now a lot of employers, you have to email your resume. Mm -hmm. And if we have employers at the event, we want our people uh, empowered to go around and submit their resume. It's my understanding over 200 people came through last year and a significant number of jobs. The apprenticeship program representatives, the regional carpenters will be there. Uh, so we thought like three years ago, it's a lot more organized this year. Thankful for these four women that stepped up to the plate and organized it. And I want to give them a shout out. Uh, but we thought, you know, it's good to have the remember Dr. King and President Trump has given us more reason to get more engaged. But we want to give people some hope on Tuesday when they woke up. As opposed, we remember the dream, we had to march, we came back and he ate his else fried chicken. And now tomorrow, what are we going to do? Well, we have the Office of uh, Women and Minority Business Enterprise will be there, certifying people, giving people information on how to do business with the state. We'll have uh, uh, the University of Washington uh, Office of Minority Affairs talking about educational opportunities. So it's, that's added to the 26 workshops that will start at 930. Uh, then the rally will be at 11 o'clock in the gym. Mayor Jenny Durkin will do a welcome. The president of the NAACP, Gerald Hankson, will speak. Nikita Oliver, who is a mayoral candidate, is the mm -hmm. keynote speaker. Chandler Williams, a young uh, junior at Kennedy High School, will be singing. Uh, we have spoken word. And then at about 1230, uh, the rally, uh, the march will take place. And this year, the march will leave Garfield and go down to Westlake Mall. And we know the weather's going to be pretty good. So, what kind of crowds are you guys expecting? Do you have any idea? You know, I think that uh, uh, 45 has kind of juiced things up. So I really think that we're going to see a lot more people than yeah. we would normally see. How important, I mean, because these celebrations happen all over the country, is there, is there a statement you think needs to be made this year, given some of the political climate in this country right now? Well, the people in Martin Luther King Jr. County should be proud and should make every effort to participate in any King act uh, Martin Luther King activity. It doesn't have to be the march or rally. I've attended like two or three different events already uh, the last three days. But uh, I would say in terms of actually doing what Martin Luther King Jr. and the civil rights leaders did and actually march and talk to people and try to start organizing because uh, after Monday, there's going to be a real rough road to hold for a lot of people. Uh, we know we got uh, the folks vamping on uh, the various immigrants, and uh, also we have still ec have serious economic justice in the black community. Uh, have you seen the, uh, how we lost the central area of Seattle? And the thing about it is that the same issues that Dr. King was faced with, you see the attack on civil rights by the attorney general, and uh, we have to really focus on doing things locally, because we're not going to get any help in Washington, right. D.C. You've got to make your voices heard here. Exactly. All right, let's go through some of the details uh, of that event again tomorrow. Kicks off 8.30 in the morning, uh, Garfield High School. It's followed by a, mark, a march rather, to Westlake Park. The website, if you want more information, uh, shown right there on your screen. MLKCL.org. Uh, Eddie, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank really you, my pleasure. Yeah. Happy King Day. There you go. All right, coming up, Hawaii suspends